asked me to be in his wedding party in the parking lot after we watched James Cameron's Avatar 2. <laughs> The way of water. I don't know if it was premeditated or if you were just so moved by the original screenplay and you know cinema, but I'm I'm very grateful for it. It's really rare that you get to live with your sister, especially your older sister, when you're out of the house, when you're adults. And I got to see in how a lot of ways you're the same. You know, you're still telling me what to do, but it's helpful, and it's, it's so sad. But seriously, you've grown into this leader, and you found this great partner. There was a few months where we knew that there was a guy, but we weren't allowed to know his name. And her birthday always came up during exams, and so we drove up with a couple gifts and some cupcakes on her birthday just for like an hour because she had to study. And that morning Taylor said, his name is Duncan and he's going to meet you. Today's the day. And um, so we loved you from that day on. It actually wasn't from that day on. Um, <laughs> it was the time when it was me and Duncan and Taylor up at the Vermont house alone for a weekend. That's when I got to see full Duncan, I would say. And he is such a, a caring guy, and he's intelligent, and he's got these deeply held values. You know, and the other thing, and then he starts cooking, so it was the black bean burgers, and it was the... So I was like, okay, I'm up. And then we got up in the morning, and it was the eggs, and it was the potatoes, and I was like, okay, this is kind of all right, I get it a little bit. But he was paying such good attention to Taylor. And Duncan's a lot of things. He is not a showboater, so he was not doing this just for me. He was doing it because he loved Taylor. And I could tell from that moment that she loved him a lot, too. Welcome to Vermont, and welcome to the beautiful Rowdy Meadow and the celebration of Taylor and Duncan's wedding. In thinking about Taylor and Duncan's relationship in this ceremony, the word welcome kept coming back. The way that these two have welcomed each other into their lives and to their hearts, it's been a blessing to watch over the past several years. I think one of the secrets of their continuing happy marriage is going to be their wonderful interests together. We all appreciate Duncan's cooking, and I know that Taylor appreciates it, eating it, as we all do. Taylor, I really think you make our family better. You bring a gentleness, a calmness, a heck of a good tomato. We're so grateful to have you as, as part of that. Awesome. I think when Taylor started to grow this terrific garden, which is so impressive, it leads into a sharing of the meal preparation and enjoyment of what is so important to all of us of good friends and food and enjoyment. Duncan and Taylor are so good with each other, so good to each other, and so good for each other. The balance and comfort that they bring each other is pretty rare. I hope that we're all continued to be invited for dinner <laughs> with Taylor's vegetables and fruits and Duncan's chop, chop, chopping. <laughs> Hanging out on the dock with you guys after Dick and Sarah go to bed at <laughs> at 8 p.m. <laughs> it never gets old. You could tell how exciting it was just by every time he brought up Taylor, just a smile on his face, you know. And we weren't one to really, as guys, we weren't really one to share feelings, but it was, uh, <laughs> you could tell it was special just by the way he would talk about her. But we're so lucky to have you as as neighbors, as family, and we're so excited to celebrate you with everyone. And um, cheers. Out of all the people I know, your words, regardless of the situation, I take most seriously and to heart. I trust you 
your opinions, perspectives, more than nearly anyone else in my life. That genuine warmth, that gift for making connections, whether with family or strangers, is something truly remarkable. And to you, Duncan, I must extend my apologies <laughs> for that one snowy incident when I hurled a snowball, more like a snow ice ball, at your face in the kitchen <laughs> while you were busy cooking us all a very nice dinner. Um, it was, in all honesty, because I see you as a brother figure, someone whom I can share playful moments and frankly annoy the heck out of. Marin passed away almost 14 years ago and we still think about her every day. Most days we feel the absence of her presence. On days like this, we feel the presence of her absence. Taylor, we never had the chance to know Marin, but she was wicked smart, kind of introverted, fiercely committed to her family, and really, really beautiful, particularly in her wedding dress. Some of us think that those not with us today are looking down from above with smiles of approval. Some think that their spirit is circulating among us and touching us on the shoulder. My personal belief is that the essence of those who have gone before us live on in the love we give each other and the hugs and the smiles and the laughter that we share on days of celebration like this. I can see Martin in Duncan's eyes when he looks at Taylor and we love her and we miss her. Taylor, if Marin could have wandered the world or at least the Dartmouth campus and picked out the perfect partner for her son, she would have chosen you. That fierce protector of a mom would have witnessed your intelligence, your patience, and your loving kindness, and known that you, walking through life with Duncan, would make him so happy. Taylor, I promise to love you and to commit to you my whole life. Duncan, I promise to love you and commit to you my whole life. I promise to be there for you when you need me. To be honest with you and to be faithful with you. And to walk through the valleys of life together. Just as we stand atop mountains. Just as we will stand atop mountains. The clouds are the look of the weather. The hand is the look of the glove. The bird is the look of the feather. And you are the look of love. Two, such as you, with such a master speed, cannot be parted nor be swept away from one another once you are agreed that life is only life forevermore together. Wing to wing and oar to oar. And by the power vested in me by the state of Vermont, and importantly, Becky, the town clerk of Pomfret. I'm happy to pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss. All right, the time has come. Are you ready to see the new couple tonight? They are married, ready to start an incredible life together. Come on, let's get loud and put your hands together for our gorgeous couple, Taylor and Duncan. There must be something magic in the snow at the skiway because it's where your love story began. From those Dartmouth days, hearing mice running through Tay's ceiling, to the tiny Boston apartment, to now raising your crazy puppy and building your wonderful Minneapolis community. Duncan, it's been you through each and every chapter, and it's been beautiful to be there through each part of your story. Tay, you are incredibly humble, fiercely kind, and your heart is so big and so true. I could not have imagined a better partner for you to share it with. So as some of our favorite poets the Chainsmokers once said, say you'll never let me go. And I know these two never will. So let's all raise our glasses and give a rouse to the beautiful love Tay and Duncan share. Cheers, I love you both. Initially shy, Taylor dropped that about two drinks in one night at our favorite Minneapolis dive bar, Sporties. And as Taylor began to roast Duncan's taste about the office, T 
TV, shows, movies, and games. It became clear that in, in that was a deep love for my best friend that I've never heard from anyone else. I could tell that she had patiently listened to every one of Duncan's opinions about which office line was really the best and that this roasting was from someone who experienced true love for my best friend. Whether they knew it or not, I knew then that this was it for my friend, that I met his wife, and I started thinking about what I'd say at this wedding. All I can say now is that I'm happy for my two good friends who have built an incredible foundation of love and happiness, and who I know has a huge group of family and friends here tonight in their corner forever because of how great you both are. Now join me in raising a glass to Taylor and Duncan, and I wish you guys a marriage chock full of joy, friends, family, dogs, and love. Cheers. Oh